What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Phase Reviews YouTube channel. My name is Jordan. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. And if you're a subscriber, welcome back as always. On the table in front of me, I have two pieces of atmosphere effect type fixtures. They are bubble machines from the company Sheds. If you've watched the channel before, I've reviewed some other Sheds lights, namely their really awesome RGB DMX laser that is just fantastic value for the money. These are also really, really good options. If you're someone who wants to do bubble parties for kids, if you do stage productions and you need to add some atmosphere to your uh, play or to your show, or if you just want to add this to your mobile DJ business or your venue. So I've got two different models here from Sheds. This is a larger one, longer continuous runtime, very set it and forget it, not a bunch of options you can control. And then this one has built in LEDs, DMX control, and a whole lot more. So what I'm going to do is compare and contrast these two different models, tell you what I like and don't like about each one, give you a demo of them in action, and then ultimately let you know if I think they're worth picking up for yourself. Now, before I dive into the video, make sure that you subscribe and you ring that notification bell so you don't miss any content coming in the future. Like the video if you enjoy what you see, and as it goes on, leave a comment down below with your thoughts on your favorite bubble machine or if you think these sheds are worth picking up. So enough about that, let's take a look at the sheds bubble machines. I mentioned it in the intro, but why would you own a bubble machine? Well, first and foremost, if you got kids like me, they absolutely love it. And these things just run forever compared to your off the shelf options, but they're pretty spendy just to get for your kids to play with. Most of the time, DJs are gonna be using these for specific party needs or venues people that have a production company, specific uses like that. They go hand in hand with things like a fog machine or a haze machine or a snow machine. And they're just one option that you can add to your arsenal to offer to your clients. Now, uh, bubbles in particular, they are pretty low maintenance. I mean, compared to a snow machine, I think there's a little bit less cleanup with these. There is more so than say a fog machine, uh, but the application is very different. One of the things that I really love about bubble machines is that you can get those UV reactive bubbles, use these with black lights and throw a really awesome party that will blow people's minds. So uh, I'm always a sucker for being able to pull out the black lights. Now, the two options here from Sheds I mentioned in the video, they're kind of dim different in their applications and how they function. We'll start with this guy on the left. First and foremost, the construction and what's included. Now, this is a pretty, pretty large unit and that's because the fluid reservoir on this is huge. I think I saw somewhere on their site like five hours continuous runtime if you fill the bubble reservoir all the way up on this guy. Uh, it's very lightweight despite its size. You've got two fans here at the front to spray the bubbles up and you can control the angle of those. So if you want them to go up or out, you can do that just by moving it here. They don't really lock down, it's just friction fit. There's a handle on the top, pretty much all plastic construction on this. Two vents on the back that supply the fans for the two bubble wand wheels right here, which will just spin continuously and spray out the bubbles. And then on the back, they, the power cord is not replaceable, it's permanently attached. And then there also is a remote right here so you can trigger this, turn it on and off from a distance. It is a radio frequency, not an IR, so you don't have to be line of sight, which is really nice. A toggle power switch right here. And overall, that's basically it for this guy. There wasn't a manual in my box. There wasn't a extra cable or anything like that. It's literally just the bubble machine. No bubble fluid is included with either of these. So you will have to supply your own. I found on Amazon, you can buy concentrate and just mix it up at the most dilute uh, concentration and you'll get tons and tons of fluid for these guys. Definitely if you're using this to make money, like more than enough to make your investment back very quickly. Okay, now for this guy, this is their super bubble machine, at least according to the manual here. And this one I think is more aimed at the mobile DJs, the stage productions versus people solely doing like kids events because this has a much more powerful fan. It's gonna shoot the bubbles out quite a ways. I believe it says, hold on, the vertical, I have it written down here. It's somewhere right here. The vertical spray, if you're just using it indoors, like up and down, I think is like 10 meters, 11 meters. So 33 feet straight up if you're using this indoors. Now, if you have wind, that lowers it down. A couple other specs on this guy, it is a 90 watt total power consumption. So not a ton, but definitely more than this guy is. You've got four in one LEDs, red, green, blue, white. They're six watt, uh, four watts a piece, excuse me, six of them. Uh, and you can adjust the angle of this, the spray of this. It says 180, I don't know if that's 180, maybe like 120, let's see. Uh, maybe 160, it might be close to 180, I'm not sure. Um, these have two handles on the side here just to lock it down once you find the angle you want. 
This construction wise, I think has a little more metal on it as opposed to this one. So a little more robust. The tank is not as large. It is a removable tank with a screw on cap so you can just unscrew it and pull it out when you wanna fill it up. There's two hoses to run the fluid to the pump and then up to the blower up at the top. A single bubble wand wheel right here. And then around the back is where you're gonna see a lot of the changes. So you've got DMX three pin in and out as well as power con in and out, which is really nice to see, locking power connection and a single power switch right here. Now, referring to the manual on this guy in particular, you've got six channels of DMX control. Channel one is just gonna turn the unit on or off. So if you want bubbles on, want bubbles off, you can do it and just like maybe hook that up to like a flash button and trigger it instantaneously. Uh, you've also got the ability to turn the LEDs on and off and then control the red, green, blue, white diodes individually. And that's it. So it's pretty straightforward as far as DMX control. Uh, and But you do get a lot more functionality as opposed to this one, which you just flick the switch on or hit the remote and you're ready to go. Now this one does include uh, a DMX cable as well as the power con cable. And then they also do include a remote as well. This is not gonna give you any more functionality than this guy, you're just gonna be turning it uh, on and off. Now, I shot some footage of these in the garage, so you can kinda see in a more controlled environment, the bubbles, especially from this one, just shooting straight up without any wind interference. It's a really, really powerful stream. The LEDs are awesome, they're bright, they make it seem like it's a jet. So you could maybe substitute this for like a CO2 cannon if there was some restriction on why you couldn't use that. I think it would work great in that scenario. When you tilt it and shoot it at an oblique angle, you get a little less throw, but it's still pretty great. The downside to using this particular one with the higher powered fan is that it's spraying a lot of fluid and not turning it into bubbles. You will get puddles in front, not puddles, but like a, a mist, a spray in front of this light. And with any bubble machine, you're gonna wanna make sure that you've got some towels down or it's in an area people aren't gonna slip. You're not gonna damage floor. If you use this outside concrete, stuff like that, no issue. Indoor like basketball gyms, they'll make sure you're protecting it so people are not slipping and you're not messing up the floor. This uh, larger unit just is, you just turn it on and it just makes bubbles. They're a little bit bigger than this one because of the fan speed. It's a little bit slower in the larger unit. And again, like five hours runtime. So you can just turn this on, set and forget it, put it in a high location and it's just gonna make bubbles all day long. Now going outside and using the high powered one again, the wind definitely cuts down on the height. So they still spread out a ton. You get just as much output, but they're just not gonna shoot as far out from the fixture because the wind disrupts the airflow. The colors are really vibrant. The fluid consumption is quite conservative on the bigger unit. It just trickles through things. It doesn't use a ton. Because of how fast this fan is blowing in the Super Bubbles DMX unit, it just chugs through fluid. I probably, a full tank will probably get you about 35, 40 minutes of runtime. Whereas on the basic unit, the larger unit, you're gonna get hours and hours of runtime. So something to keep in mind. All in all though, they have worked flawlessly for me. I've tested them in a few different areas. Uh, they have not experienced any clogs. They do recommend that you run some uh, other fluid through it, not bubble fluid after you're done to kind of clear out the lines and let it not solidify. I honestly haven't done it just like I don't do with my fog machines. I found if I do too much maintenance with these kind of things, you cause more problems. So just letting it sit so far, I haven't had any issues. Uh, the build quality is good for the price for what you're getting. I understand why they made this bigger one out of plastic. It's probably more resistant to dam or degradation from the bubble solution itself. And it makes it more lightweight to carry around. If this was all metal at this size, it would be an absolute beast. Uh, all in all, I'm really happy with both of these. I would love to have matching for each so I could have a pair. I think this could be an awesome revenue stream. Bubble fluid is cheap. Pair it with some black lights and some kids music and you could make some great weekday income for birthday parties. Uh, I'll include links to these down in the description. You can go check them out there if you want. I appreciate you watching this video, liking, subscribing, ringing the notification bell and leaving a comment down below. Again, I appreciate you watching and I will see you next time.